transparency and communication. Those two pieces are big for me, um, especially being in the operations side of things. I want to be able to see very quickly where my people are, what they're on, what they're working on. And really, I want to be able to communicate out to them very quickly and easily from within that platform. It's communication. It's nearly impossible for my project managers to call every guy on his job site. The first thing out of my mouth is how easy it is to move people. So I run human resources and my staff is telling me, David, I have superintendent A asking for labor this way. I got another one asking for labor that way. We manage you know, the state of California with I don't know how many unions. So they all uh, ask for labor different. Now it's consistent. I look at early warning signs, good or bad on projects, with the way we schedule, understanding what our resource profiles look like. You now I, I would say like once we go over that peak, like we start talking about it or vice versa. If we're not ramping up the way we should, we get so many early warning signs through this. For us, we've got all our certifications in there. And if I'm looking for somebody that's confined space, I can go through there and sort it by confined space. Yeah, if you're getting ready to go out to a job site and you're not real sure who all the people are, you can pull up their roster, look at that job site, at least glance at everyone. And then when you show up, every you know all their names. You know, Malou has, with all the tags that are available, you know, she has gone through and tagged everybody with all these different things. So now when a, a superintendent goes to do a job, we can go skilled and trained, PLA in this area. They can go through and they can filter it out. They can go, okay, here's our skilled and trained workers. Here's who lives in this zip code. And it's going to make for the uh, unintentional errors of scheduling is going to really help out in, in that area. We get IT requests all the time. Can I get, get access to Rivet? And now they have a lot of information on their fingertips. Just the searching for, for me in my position, I might need to know who lives in this area or who has this or how many people we live in this area. And just the ease of that has been tremendous. I love the, the map on Rivet because that's going to help them kind of figure out who to send to like jobs that are farther than our um, core of our, our uh, jurisdiction. We know what gaps we have to fill in with work. Um, we kind of know if we're getting strung out or overloaded. We'll schedule out two years depending on what uh, work we have in our backlog. We were able to preview the unification of the, the planning to the request features and the the prompting of you, you're going to need two apprentices and one electrician next week according to your plan to a project manager, that's key. It's huge.